Nein. Ich stoppe. Ja. Ich liebe das auch noch. Cody. Ich spreche zu allen Sauce. Yep. And the phone rings. Yep. <laughs> well, on the, other, on the other hand. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And on the other hand, the um, I was speaking to Nick the other day, the other evening, and for the first time in my life, I found myself talking to all the source, talking to you on the phone. So that was that was a, a first in my life to have that opportunity. So well, I thank you for that opportunity while I'm here. <laughs> well, I thought I. I thought I'd just drop in. Yeah, I loved it. Say this, uh, so, so to speak. Yep, you did, and uh, I had to have a giggle with you and with myself when you did. I, thought. I, I love using open channels because because it's so easy to just to drop in and have a conversation with people when when the person is an open channel. Yes, and they can just hop out of the way yep. and let me say what I want to say. You're talking about this amazing being called Nick Turner and his, yes. his, uh, his uh, physical and energetic temple here on Earth. Yes. Yes. Nicholas is a very unique being. Yes. He is basically what how we would describe Nicholas is like you can walk in yep. and walk out. Yep. James, James, they really want to get through. And what I mean by that? Text, text them down. What I what I mean by that, Ross? Yeah. Is in at any given moment. Yep. There can be forty thousand souls. Yep. Going through. Nicholas's vessel. 40,000, that is almost incomprehensible to us. Well... But anyway... Well, this is the, this is the truth of yeah, the matter. Yeah, I, I understand, because we're multidimensional beings. Yes. Yes. And so not just in this dimension, but in the other dimensions in which we exist. Yes. Yeah. But people, people on YouTube... It, it is the absolute truth. Yeah. Yes. I, I am not. I am not pulling the wool over your eyes. <laughs> this is how it is for this. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. This vessel as well. Yes. Yeah. Because we can c come and go as we please. Yes. Because Nicholas meditates. At such a deep physical level, yes, and radiates and light energy all the time, yep. that it doesn't matter if it's either all of source myself, yep. or anyone of proper high yep. vibration, yes, we will come and look after the vessel, yes, because we have a vested interest for it to last a long time so we can get the truth out there into the world wide community yep. yes I feel very very privileged to be somehow part of this process with you and I thank you for that and we, honour and respect we thank you also because it is, it is, it is these videos that will enlighten yeah. the world if people only can feel with the hearts and know what I am saying. Yeah. Do not let his disability have any bearing on the messages yeah yes because he it is not it is not his disability anyone is going to be focusing on yep 
It is his ability. Yep. Yes. Yep. Indeed. So. Without. Without channels like Nicholas Turner. Yep. Truth could not come through clearly. Mm. Yes, there's many channels there through the world. Yep. But not many channels allow the cosmic energy in clearly. Yes. They let it in through the egalic mind. Yeah, so it's filtered. Yep. Yes. Yep. If you're going to work for the universe, yep. you've got to let the universe come through unfiltered, yep. uncensored. Yep. Yes. And see, that's why we love working with Nicholas. We love working with everybody, but we love working with Nicholas, especially because he allows us, to, he allows me yes. to come, come through unfiltered. Right. Yep. And I can have conversations with yourself, yep. or anyone for that matter, yes. as long as they're open to it. Yes. Does that make sense? It does indeed. It does indeed. All right. Um, we've been going for about two hours so far, roughly. Um, so I've spoken about abundance. Um, I had a couple more topics, which was the, your comments on the wisdom of the Australian Aborigines, American Indians, and most non-court Caucasian Western tribes. Yes. So, um, historically, white man has um, behaved in a what I would discern or judge as a very ignorant way towards these tribes, and in a very um, as if he white man is superior uh, to these to the wisdom of these people. Uh, and I'm talking in general terms, white man, etc. But you know exactly what I'm saying, and. Um, I think it is time, past time perhaps, for, um, for aspects of us to acknowledge and recognise and say I'm sorry and to embrace the wisdom of these beings. But that's what you are doing. That's what I'm doing and it's what more of us are doing. Yes. That's what more of you are doing, and the more that the more that you listen to these nomadic people, yep. the more you will get in tune with their ways and that how they understand how they understand living off the land. Yep. But white man. Is not superior. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's just let's just <laughs> lay, it, lay it on the table, so to speak. <laughs> well, this is source speaking, frankly. So yes. <laughs> that's the topic of uh, this this uh, channeling, I think. Yes. No, no being is superior to, and no being is superior to another. You all are equal. You've all agreed for certain experiences. Yep. The nomadic tribes of the world did agree to be a little bit sub subjugated, yep. but not to the extent of nearly wiping them all out. Oh. This is what's happening in the Amazon, isn't it? The Amazon tribes have, uh, are being eliminated from Earth, genocide. Yes, but again... In Papua New Guinea. Yes, but again, you are the people that you know. You can meditate on anything 
and change it. And I mean that literally, if you meditate yep. on genocide and you want to you want to see a race come back, meditate on that race. Yeah. Keep their knowledge alive yes. through through your spiritual practice. Yep. Yep. If no if no a a race may be may be killed. Yes. Right? What you've got to understand is the soul can, cannot be killed. Yes. Right? Yep. Yes. And if you connect with that collective soul's energy, yep. their knowledge can be passed on to you. Right. Does that make sense? It does indeed, yes. Yep. And uh, talking of which, uh, we can also get knowledge from holding a stone, for example. Is that correct? Or exactly. a crystal? Yes, exactly. If you a messenger stone like the one that we celebrated with at the Mountain of Light Holistic Centre the other yes. evening. Yes. You can just hold the stone, any stone for that matter. Yep. Because it records history. Yes. And if you practice meditation or deep prayer, yep. you can hold a stone. And then tune into it, and it will give you a feeling, or give you a collage of pictures yep. of the history of the place it was was created in. Yep. Right. Yeah. And the journey that it's been on, for instance, the stone coming from so-called Western Australia coming across. To Eastern Australia by migrating Koori people, and it's recording the journey along the way. Is that yes? It's recording the feelings of the people. Yep. It's recording. It's recording how they lived. Yep. And if a person was deeply tuned into that, yep. then they would get images of how the, that tribe lived. Yep. And if they were tuned into the language, yep. then they would get literally an audio playback yep. in their consciousness. Right. And this would apply to other artifacts from ancient cultures as well? Exactly. Exactly, right. Cool. There is... There is a lot of people will not believe this, but that, that's how simple, simple it is. Yep. If you do deep meditation yep. on a daily basis, you can tune to anything. Yep. You've just got to let go of your egalic mind. Right. And does the same apply to, I know the answer to this, but I'm just asking you, um, the same apply to holding a plant's leaf and um, asking of what benefits this plant has for humanity in terms of health and sickness, etc. Yes. And how it should be prepared, etc. We can get that message directly from... Yes. Directly from the plant itself. Rather than having to go through chemical analysis, etc., etc., we can just simply, if when we become adept, we can do that without all when the so-called science and separation and division. When you become adept, Ross, you can do anything that you set your mind. Yeah. I've given you all the knowledge and tools to do this. Yes. Yeah. I've got a very interesting lifetime ahead of me, I feel, for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, yes, you have. <laughs> a lot of opening up and a lot of becoming, re, re, again, becoming adept, because I feel I've been adept before and um, 
and you will be adept again. Yes, indeed. All righty, well, um, we have two more topics. Do we have time for them? We, we, we spoke of, uh, I'd like to speak of cruelty and um, pre incarnation agreements and. Um, we will save them for another time. Right, yeah, fine. And the, there's enough, I think, there's enough topics yeah. on this recording yes. for people to digest. Right. Digest. Yep. And not that I, not that Nicholas is not tired. He is not. He is nowhere near tired. Yep. It's just that we need. We require people to digest this. Yes. And 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 then then we will carry on. Right. So we will we will leave those topics for yep. now. Yep. Could you just before we go, before you um, withdraw from his body? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> um, from this recording, um, explain why you have asked me to publish this recording as a single recording rather than in divided sections for the global community. The reason why I, all the source. Yep have asked for it not to be done in sections is because there's a lot of telepathic communication yep. with every being that truly connects with this yep. and they don't have to they do not have to walk 